My name is Ted and welcome to my YouTube channel which is dedicated to astronomy and astrophotography. Today I'm going to be doing another review. But before I do the review I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I started in uh, astronomy about a year and a half ago, maybe a little over half, well closer to two years. And also I got into taking pictures of the night sky as well. So doing astro imaging and astronomy is kind of like my new thing now and I love it and I don't ever really plan to change it. So. With that being said, uh, as most people know, this hobby can be very, very costly and heavy on the wallet per se, especially if you're looking to buy uh, telescopes and eyepieces and digital cameras or astronomy cameras and things like that. It can, the money can add up. So thankfully we have other companies out there besides Orion, Celestron and Mead who make some really, really amazing uh, products, accessories and things like that at really affordable prices. With that being said, uh, a few days ago I received a red dot finder scope from Savoni. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I do sincerely apologize. Um, it's kind of a hard name to say. It's S-V-B-O-N-Y. I will put it in the description. I will also put the links in the description where you can buy this uh, red dot finder scope if you're looking to add one of these to your uh, accessories and stuff like that. Um, com in comparison to the Orion, the Mead, and Celestron one, uh, they all pretty much operate the same way. They're pretty basic. Uh, I think the Celestron has a little different shape, but uh, they're all, generally, like I said, generally the same. Uh, the only difference is, is price. Uh, there's The Savoni brand runs for about between you know, $11 and $13, give or take, uh, the sale and who's selling it and when they're selling it. Um, if you're going to buy like Orion and stuff like that, you're going to be paying about 18 to about maybe $30. So there's a, there's a big difference in price and also in savings per se. Again, they work generally the same, so there's no difference. Uh, this one is a dovetail a stem, which goes into a dovetail adapter plate on your telescope. So anything, if you have a telescope that has a dovetail uh, bracket, uh, it will fit in there. This one is the Celestron C8N, as most people probably know if they have one. Uh, so it will generally fit, again, on any telescope that has the dovetail uh, adapter plate or the accessory plate. So how this thing works is real simple. Um, if you're familiar with the optical ones, they're generally the same. The only difference is there's no uh, optical glass or magnification glass. This is more of an observation window. So when you're looking up at the night sky with the naked eye, that's kind of exactly what you're seeing there. And to me, I find it so much more convenient because when you're using a finder scope that has, it's an optical glass, like a 9 by 50 you're getting a large portion of the sky. And plus, if you everything's magnified so you're not only seeing the object that you're supposed to be you're wanting to you know line up you're seeing hundreds of other uh, stars and things like that so it makes it more difficult with this you basically just see the thing you're looking at what you want to point at and you kind of know when you get it it'll have a little plastic little strap here that you pull out and that'll activate the batteries so that it prevents the batteries from going dead you have your typical on and off switch turns once it's on it has a very faint dot inside uh, if you turn it all the way, you'll have a max red bright dot in the center of the uh, optical uh, observation window. Um, I use it about halfway. I think it, halfway is really perfect because it doesn't cover the object that you're looking at. And you can still see it in the background as well. Because if you go too bright, then it's hard to see if you're really lined up on it or not. I guess in some ways it can be good too. It depends on how you look at it. Uh, if you need to adjust your horizontal or your azimuth, as some call it, uh, it would be this little round doohickey up here. You would just turn it and it would adjust it, you know, right and left will go right and left pretty much. Uh, if you need to adjust your altitude or your height, uh, you have a little knob back here. The same thing with the, like the altitude, just turn it, turn it each way, it will bring it up and down. Same thing with the this way, right and left. So it's a real simple gadget. And like I said, as you're looking up the night sky, if you wanted, if I was just going to give you an example, like if I was to point at the star Vega, uh, I live in a heavy, light, polluted area. So when I look at Vega with a with an optical 9x50, 
Um, it's very hard to see it because it's pretty faint as it is because of the pollution, the, the light pollution. So, but I'm also getting to see the other hundreds of stars behind it. So sometimes I don't know which star is what. So I like this one better because, like I said, what you see is basically what you see. So there's no trying to find, you know, doing any heavy searching. To use the finder scope, it's the same way. The red dot is the same way as using the optical one. You take your scope out, use an eyepiece between around 12 to about 17 millimeters is probably the best ones to use. Uh, you find something at a really... Now, if you do it in daytime, it's easier. I usually do it at nighttime. I find someone's little porch light really, really far away, which I have one down that way. Um, I centered it in my eyepiece, and then, of course, I centered it in my red dot finder scope or optical scope, whichever, uh, finder scope, whichever one I'm using. Um, I do use this all the time now because I prefer this one. Uh, I would always recommend this over optical in general because I think they're better. With that being said, that is the Saboni red dot finder scope. Um, I'll provide their links below. Uh, check them out. Check out their stores. Um, they have other things as well. They have cameras, eyepieces. Uh, um, they have guide scopes, guide cameras, uh, extension tubes, all sorts of crazy things. Even um, filters as well, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're looking to add to your inventory, um, they do make some really amazing stuff. You can also check out my other review on their eyepieces. That I've done and I, I like them. Uh, I plan to do more reviews on more eyepieces. I'm also hoping to do a review on one of their cameras soon, or actually one of their new cameras. So hopefully all can take. And again, this is what it's all about is getting, you know, to review these products, test them, and get them out there for you guys so you guys can kind of see it. Unfortunately, I can't take a picture with this, you know, like with it, it's not something to take a picture with. Uh, but if I do a review on one of their cameras, I will take a picture with it and show you the comparisons and things like that and how easy it is and the nice quality that it is. So again, that is Saboni, S-B-B-O-N-Y. Amazing products, affordable prices. If you guys are looking to save money, give them a check. Check their stores out. They're, they're great, great customer service as well, too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share my channel, and as always, clear skies.